Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Hey, you know what's really cool that perhaps you didn't know? The fact that you can connect any kind of speaker to your computer. That's right, you are absolutely not limited to just computer speakers. Sure, these are made for computers, but there's nothing computerly special about them. To make this all super simple for you, think of any time you plugged your phone into a speaker. However you made that connection, you can do the same here. After all, that headphone jack you used on your phone is most likely also going to be found on your computer. Now what about laptops, you say? Well again, all you're going to need is a headphone jack. And I'll bet that 99% of laptops have one. Let's go over the connection real quick to make sure that we're all set. You'll need an aux cable, of course, or maybe one of these. I'll show you why in a bit. Okay, so precisely where you would plug your computer speakers into is where you're gonna plug your 3.5 millimeter aux cable. And the other end of the cable? Well, my friends, this is where we're gonna possibly split up. Some of you will go this way if you have an active speaker or this way if you have a set of passive speakers. And if your speaker only has a digital optical connection, no worries, I'll cover that as well. But first, let's quickly figure out what kind of speaker you have to see just how easy your connection is gonna be. Okay, so if you plug in your speaker to a power source or if it has a battery inside, then that means you have a active speaker, which is also known as a power speaker, because again, you're connecting it to power. So if this is the type of speaker you have, you're pretty much all set. All you need to do is take your aux cable from your laptop or computer and plug it into your speaker's aux port. Oh, but what if my speaker, like a soundbar, only has a digital audio out port like an optical port? Well, you'll need to bring in one of these converters to help you make the change from an aux signal to a digital optical signal. Here's a link to the converter you're going to need in the description, and you'll also need an optical cable to complete the connection. So don't forget that if you don't already have one. If your active powered speaker has RCA in ports, you can plug in with this RCA to aux cable. But you typically won't find RCA ports on a powered speaker. Where you're most likely going to find them is on a stereo receiver with passive speakers. If you have this type of speaker, you've noticed by now that these speakers don't have any inputs other than speaker wire. So your aux and RCA cables will not go there. Instead, they're going to go into your stereo receiver. Once your stereo has the audio signal from your computer, it can forward it on over to your connected speakers. Boom, boom. Now we're all done here, but this has all been a high level explanation. If you want more details specific to the type of speaker you're trying to connect, I'm going to be working on those other videos coming up. So go ahead and subscribe to stay in the loop or go ahead and explore the rest of my channel to see what I already have now to help you get connected. Want to buy me a coffee to keep me up making more videos for you? You actually can. Check out buymeacoffee.com slash simple cafe or just scroll right down below and tap on the super thanks button and I will super appreciate you back. Best of luck and I'll see you on the next one.